Speaking of Black Panther, have you seen the trailer? I have not. I've had it sent to me by a couple friends, but I haven't watched it. Let's watch it. Okay. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. Eel, darling, don't shed no tears. No woman, no cry. Good friends we are, and good friends we've lost along the way. In this great future, you can't forget your past. So dry your teeth, I said. Mm. That kind of gave me chills, and I'm not like a. I, I wasn't a big fan of the first one. I thought it was a little bit overrated. Yeah. But that one, I think it's because of the presence of Chadwick Boseman and his loss, and how that kind of thread goes through that whole trailer. Yeah. Kind of gives you go- kind of gives you boot goosebumps, right? And I love Angela Bassett, Lapita Nyong'o. Mm, mm, mm. If this is nothing but a Chadwick Boseman tribute film, I'd watch it. I don't think it will be. I think they're smart to present it. You almost kind of have to, like that character is so imbued with Chadwick Boseman, you have to kind of not acknowledge acknowledge, it. You can't just acknowledge it. You have to kind of make it, at least for the first trailer, the central theme. Yeah. And I don't think it even was. It was was kind of somber. And it was was only until about halfway, three quarters of the way through that they showed any kind of picture of Chadwick Boseman. So, I don't know. I yeah. it looks good. I just, I just hope they get that CGI fixed up. <laughs> it was just so bad on that I last movie. I liked it. It I liked it too. But there was a couple CGI moments, and it's mostly when he fights uh, Michael B. Jordan's character. Love him. In the end, that the the CGI got just really like really come on, man. No, you're a $250 million movie. This should not be happening. 